Lake Michigan College's Mendel Center is putting on a performance, a new musical production called Working this weekend. Dr. Patrick King is here joining us to talk about the production. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Of Excited course, to be here. of course. And so this is, we were talking about earlier, this is kind of a different musical that um, has a rich history and has a lot of combination of prominent people in the musical theater industry. So can you tell us just a little bit about the show? Absolutely. So Working came out of a Studs Terkel book written in the 1970s called Working. Uh, that's a book of interviews with everyone from construction workers to CEOs, waitresses, just everybody, mm -hmm. talking about what they spend their lives doing all day. And Stephen Schwartz, who went on to write, uh, you know, Wicked, wrote Godspell, Godspell. Pippin. Yes. Um, he created a version of this show where they combined monologues drawn from those interviews with songs written by Schwartz, written by Mary Rogers, mm -hmm. wrote Once Upon a Mattress, uh, and then over the years, they've been updating it. So in the 2010s, Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote a few songs. The guy wrote Hamilton and uh, In the Heights. Right. And so they keep updating it to try to keep it a little bit relevant to what's happening in the world today and to update uh, the way we think about the way we work now in 2020, 2023. Right, and that is kind of an unconventional take. Of course, we've heard, or maybe we have not all heard, but we who enjoy the musical theater know that there are constantly updates to shows, maybe to make them more relevant, but to be really changing things structurally or bringing in new artists is really unique. So what was kind of the inspiration to put on this show? So we are staging it for a couple reasons. First, I think over the last three years, there's been a lot of huge changes in how we think about work. Uh, a lot of sort of unsung heroes uh, mm -hmm. who uh, put, uh, put everything on the line for very little pay often. Um, and thinking about how work has changed made us think about putting this show on. But also, uh, they opened up the show to allow us to localize it. Mm -hmm. So what that lets us do is get out into the community and talk to people in 2023 in Southwest Michigan and North Indiana uh, to talk about uh, what they do and to talk about how they feel about their jobs. So letting it get to that hyper-local level and that really contemporary level made it seem like the right time to do the show and, and gave us kind of a, a grounding in the community, which we're really excited about. Right, so what was that process like, being able to, did you t speak to people in the community to kind of get their input? So we are a primarily student-led cast, mm -hmm. and so we sent students out to connect with people in the community. Uh, we have tile layers, uh, people who work at a community foundation, um, we talked to someone who does merchandising for touring musicals, oh, so yeah. sort of nesting musicals. Right. Um, and they spent an hour or two talking to those people, interviewing them, and then condensing those interviews down to monologues. So it's mm. really a student-driven project, um, but as we tighten those monologues, there are spots in the show where they sort of slot in uh, to let us keep it a little bit fresh. Right, and that is so special too, to kind of have this be a new work as well. Yeah. Right, so, and you said this is mostly student-led, but how are faculty involved? What's kind of that balance as well? Yeah, so we've got uh, the Visual and Performing Arts Department at LMC has a whole range of faculty. Uh, myself uh, as a theater instructor, Becky Durbus selvage who's our music director, is overseeing this massive ensemble and mm -hmm. a tight band. Uh, Don Savoy, who's one of our music instructors, is uh, a great a sort of soul blues musician who's in the band also plays a role in the show. Um, so yeah, we've got a good mix of, of faculty and students kind of driving us uh, through this process. Right, and what has that process been for everyone working together on this project? Very collaborative. Good. <laughs> uh, a lot of conversation between people. Um, it's this mix between one-on-one -on -one work where we have students who are talking to somebody in the community boiling it down to a monologue and then refining it and trying to capture that person's essence, mm. really getting their vocal patterns and their physicality down. Uh, and then we've got big ensemble numbers where we've got you know 20 people singing and dancing on stage, climbing up on platforms. And uh, so it's been a lot of uh, uh, people wearing many different hats. We've got people in the cast helping to build the set, uh, very much all hands on deck. I think part of what makes the show fun is, is theater is also a gigantically uh, uh, labor intensive process. So to the degree that we can uh, reflect what that work is in the finished product, um, we're excited to kind of showcase that as well. Absolutely, and we want to make sure that everyone can check out this musical that brings a different and a local take, which is so special. So Working a Musical is premiering March 10th, 11th, and 12th. You can call 269-927-8700 or visit themendelcenter.com events uh, at lakemichigancollege.edu.